in this video i will show you how to install kali linux from iso from scratch first you need to download the latest kali linux for that you can go to www.kali.org and click on download on download page there are many type of images which you can download such as virtual machine we have installer image for mobile cloud arm live boot container wsl so right now we are interested in installer image because we want to install kali linux from scratch so click on the installer image and from here there is 64 bit and 32 bit we are interested in 64 bit and there is installer torrent file or directly so click on the direct one i already download just to show you so we have kali linux 2024.1 installer amd64 i already have the required iso i already download just to show you it's almost 4 gb let me cancel and it's already in my e drive so when you download this image here is the same image then you can go to your virtual machine vmware workstation click on the file new virtual machine choose a typical the recommended one and click next second option is installer disk image file iso click browse and i already download so let me go to a d drive os and here is kali linux ah uh, this one kali linux 2024.1 installer amd64 iso and click open and click next guest operating system you need to choose linux and version debian 11 64 bit you can click here and it will show you all of them if you have the latest one so you can choose that one as well and click next give them a name so i will give them kali linux new okay and the location where you want to store this one so this is the location you can change the location if you want and click next next is specify disk capacity so the minimum requirement 20 gb is up to you if you want to install more stuff so it's better to give them more hard drive and click store virtual disk as a single file and click next here you can customize if you want customize hardware if you want to change the memory suppose to 4 gb or 8 gb as depend on your uh, requirement processor if you want to change so you can change that one if you want to enable virtualization if you want to run something inside so you can enable this feature as well network adapter i would say and recommend right now keep them as a net usb controller if you want sound card printer we don't need you can remove and display we want to keep that one and if you want to enable 3d graphics so you can and after that just close and click finish now the kali linux new here is the detail i change the memory and other stuff power on the virtual machine click on that one just close this one and it will show you how to install the first option is which we are interested graphical install there is install which is cli install so i will choose the first option and hit enter okay so we need to wait for a while and it will start the installation process after that we done these steps it will ask you all these details your language and all those stuff so we choose the graphic install and hit enter and here is select your prefer language so the language we want is english select a language and click continue next is select your location so you can choose your location in my case i will choose saudi arab okay in your case you can choose your country whatever you like okay 
so if my country is not there so i can choose other as well and let's choose united kingdom or united state whatever is your country you can choose from the list otherwise you can choose other if it is not in the list and click continue configure the keyboard so the keyboard we want to use american english and click continue okay now it will uh, detect the media because we already have the iso uh, image so it will install the component from the installation media so we choose the uh, prefer language after that we choose the location then the keyboard layout after that it will load the installer component from the installation media and then it will ask you the network interface because we are already connected to net so it will get the ip through dhcp and it will ask you to enter the host name so you can uh, type the host name for this system okay in this case i will put kali it's up to you you can change and you can keep any name for this uh, system after that it will ask you the domain name okay after the domain name it will ask you the username the username which you can use uh, to enter the system so they you need to type the account for the uh, system the full name and also the username and then it will ask you the password you need to type the password two time for lab purpose i will type abc at one two three four five and then i will re-enter the password to verify and click continue after that you need to choose your time zone we will choose the time zone and then it will ask you how to format the hard drive the disk it can give you many options because we have only one drive and we want to install this Kali Linux on one hard drive. So we don't need any partition of the disk. So we will choose guided use entire disk because we want to use the entire disk. Okay. If there is you want to install Kali Linux with Windows, so you need to choose a different option in that case. But in this case, I will use guided use entire disk and then i will choose the disk because it's a virtual environment so i will choose the vmware uh, partition after that i will choose all file and one partition so you can keep the file and separate partition however we want to keep them in one partition i will choose the first option and continue so let's go back yeah so the host name i will keep kali and click continue domain name i don't want so click continue okay and now it's say the username so i will give the username ali and click continue then the account is also ali and there is a password a b c at one two three four five and if you want to check it is yeah so you can like this and let me re-enter the password and click continue okay and now is configure the clock so i want to use this one you can change as per your allocation and click continue okay so it will start those configurations so let's go back okay there's now is uh, next it will ask you the partition disk which i told you so let's go back until this yeah is come up so partition disk so i will use the default one guided use entire disk because i have only a 30 gb hard drive which we choose when we start the installation and click continue choose the default partition disk and click continue okay all file in one partition the first option and click continue and choose this one option and click continue okay and here write the changes to disk yes so here you need to make sure that whatever you say you need to choose yes so they can uh, do the changes okay and click continue so it will start the uh, base system and let's go back until that time so i choose this option and after that make sure to choose yes because whatever we say related to the hard drive you need to say yes so they can do the changes to the hard drive after that it will ask you uh, the the uh, which environment desktop environment you want to install there is a genome you will discuss this one there is a kde and there is a default one xfce 
which is the default desktop environment. It's like a theme, which theme you want to install. So it's better to keep the default one. XFCE is the light one. So it's better to choose this one. If you want all three, so you can choose. You can choose GNOME as well and KDE as well. These three are the uh, most, most widely used. However, the Kali Linux, the default one is XFCE, which is the best one. So it's better to cho choose and keep the default one. So desktop environment. So I say I want XFCE. I don't need Genome. I can install later on as well. KDE is another desktop environment if you want that one. And these are the collection of tool. So I want to keep the collection of tool and top 10 most popular tool I want to keep. Okay. And just choose the default recommended tool as well. So these are the uh, software selection. So I would recommend just keep the same and click continue. So let's go back and let's see where we are. Yeah. So now it's here. So I will keep the default one and click continue. Okay. Let's go back. Next, it will ask you the uh, boot loader. So boot loader, uh, the, because we have only one uh, hard drive, so I will use yes, install the uh, boot loader to your primary drive. We have only one drive, so I would say yes and click continue. After that, you need to choose the uh, hard drive. So we have only one hard drive, hard drive A. Okay, I will choose this one. By default, maybe it's uh, enter device manually. So you need to ch change this one to your hard drive. Okay, the first hard drive and click continue. After that, they will finish the installation and that's it. Uh, click continue to reboot. And then you can log in the user which uh, we create was Ali and password was ABC at one, two, three, four, five. And we can log into our Kali Linux. So this is the complete procedure to install Kali Linux. So let's go back and let's see. Okay, because it will take some time. Uh, after that, uh, we can follow those remaining steps. Okay, so next it will ask you the uh, bootloader. So primary yes, click yes and click uh, continue. Uh, make sure choose the second option and click uh, continue. Okay, so it will take some time. So now we are almost finished. So we are here. The next thing is it will uh, finish the installation and then it will ask you to continue the last option final so that it can reboot and then you need to uh, type your username and password to log in okay so it's finishing the installation uh, we need to wait for a while and then we can uh, log into this Kali Linux yeah and click continue okay so this is the way to install Kali Linux and finally we are here so now we can log in okay so the username was ali and password abc812345 and hit enter to log in kali linux and here is the latest and updated kali linux okay and you can click here let me control shift plus plus and it will get ip automatically so let's go back and it should take the ip it's here automatically through dhcp and we can ping 8.8.8 .8. yes we can reach to the internet that's it this was the way how we can install kali linux from scratch